guys welcome to the channel today let's see how we can deploy a static site on netlify so netlify is a hosting provider which allows us to deploy uh, simple static sites static sites include sites where we don't have third party dependencies uh, like database calls or any uh, packages that we might want to run our website uh, so basically it can only host uh, simple html css javascript folders so in my case I have a dummy portfolio setup. Uh, this is my local file, the index.html file which you are seeing. This is the portfolio. So I want to host this portfolio on Netlify. So for hosting it, before that I have pushed my code to GitHub. As you can see, uh, we have two things here, the assets folder and index.html file. Assets folder is the one where I included CSS, JS and uh, the images which are included in this portfolio. Uh, once we go to Netlify, if you don't have an account, you can uh, directly go to the sign in section and create an account. You can create account with your email or Google or any third party integrations. Uh, once you have uh, signed in, you can see a list of uh, websites already deployed. Uh, if you did not deploy any, you don't see any as I already deployed a few you are seeing two of them. I want to if I want to deploy a new site, I can click on this button. I can click on import an existing project because I already have an existing project set up. If you want to start from scratch, Netlify always provides us a few templates where we can start with. You can select that option. I will go to import an existing project. Here it's asking uh, to deploy your project in two ways. One is either you can directly drop the folder, the project folder completely here, or you can choose any third party integration services like GitHub, Bitbucket, GitLab or Azure DevOps. In my case, as I already have my portfolio pushed to GitHub, I will just choose the deploy with GitHub option. So to deploy with GitHub, you have to first authorize the Netlify uh, to your GitHub account and make sure that your portfolio, which you want to host is uh, made uh, publicly available. So here I can search for my portfolio dummy yeah here i got i can click on that i can select the branch to deploy if you have multiple branches you can select which branch you want to deploy and it's asking for the base directory it is the base directory is the starting folder or the file which netflix has to netlify has to see from where it has to start the deployment build command you can provide a build command to uh, start the build process if you have any uh, react or some other website where uh, it requires us to create a zip file before deploying and publish directory this is the public images or css directory then environment variables uh, environment variables are uh, secret variables if you have any third party integrations and all you can add them here as i don't have any i will directly click on deploy dummy portfolio so it started the deployment process let's wait for a few minutes As a deployment, it, it might take a minute or two to deploy. Let's wait for some time. Yeah, it's done. It's pretty fast this time. Yeah, so you can see, you can uh, visit this URL and see my portfolio log. It is live now. And uh, if I want to change the site settings, like now the name is Roaring Kulfi, which is kind of horrible. Uh, I can go to domain settings. I can click on edit site name. I can change the site name to anything I want. Shabir YT demo portfolio. Now if I open it again, this time it's Shabir YT demo portfolio, which is more readable. 